बसमिल्लर कवासाकी डिजीज प्रीवियसली कॉल्ड म्यूकोकोटेनियस लिम्फ नोट सिंड्रोम रिकग्नाइज बाय जैपनीज पीडियाट्रिशियन इज नेम वॉज डॉक्टर टॉमी टॉमिसकू कावासाकी दी वॉज द वन हु हैज रिकग्नाइज इज अ सेपरेट डिजीज सो वॉट इज कावासाकी डिजीज वाई इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू नो अबाउट कावासाकी डिजीज इट इज अ सिस्टमिक वेस्क्यूलाइटिस डिजीज एंड अफेक्टिंग मेनली चिल्ड्रेन एंड इट अफेक्ट द मीडियम साइज वेसल्स This is a leading cause of uh, developing heart disease in children. So early treatment reduces reduces the mortality from coronary artery aneurysm. So uh, you have to know about the features uh, how to diagnose Kawasaki disease because there are no particular investigations to diagnose Kawasaki disease. That's why clinical features are very important to know. So you have to know about the clinical features of Kawasaki disease. so how to recognize and assess a kawasaki disease any child any baby who has fever more than 5 days and four of the following features like conjunctivitis oral changes peripheral edema rash and lymph nodes so conjunctivitis could be the non purulent and bulbar conjunctiva conjunctivitis means sore eyes would be the uh, you will see there is a palpebral conjunctivitis and bulbar conjunctivitis i will show you the picture in the next slide so bulbar conjunctivitis you can see the red part of your uh, white part of your eye would be the red that is the bulbar conjunctivitis this is a feature of kawasaki disease bilateral oral changes could be cracked lips red lips red tongue and also pharynx would be congested peripheral edema you will find the swelling and redness of the sole and palms of the feet and after that 10 to 14 days of onset of symptoms you will find the peeling of skin of tips of fingers uh, which would be you call it desquamation of the skin rash could be the polymorphous rash would won't be uh, uh, there won't be a uh, vesicles or crust only polymorphous rash lymph nodes unilateral cervical lymph nodes uh, its diameter should be one, uh, more than 1.5 cm So these are the features of Kawasaki disease uh, five fever more than 5 days and four of the following five feature is a diagnostic criteria for the Kawasaki disease as i told you there is no particular investigation for diagnosis So what is Kawasaki disease what is the pathophysiology of Kawasaki disease so uh, it enhances the inflammation response usually cause is unknown but it, infection may play a role in some cases but otherwise it is unknown etiology and it it causes the damage to the collagen and elastic response in the vessel wall usually medium sized arteries and uh, that's why it is uh, causes the systemic vasculitis which we call the inflammation of the medium sized arteries so you will find there are some atypical features like the children who are having 18 to 24 months of the age and uh, if fever sometimes fever would be less than 5 days but other inflammatory markers would be high and bcg mark vaccination bcg for the tuberculosis you will find the erythemate erythema of the bcg site usually patient uh, doesn't respond with the treatment and uh, they might have arthralgia aseptic aseptic meningitis uveitis cough vomiting diarrhea abdominal pain so these are the atypical features of kawasaki disease otherwise the typical features is i mentioned earlier so this is the bulbar conjunctiva and it would be the non pleural this is the red lips red tongue cracked lips this is the swelling of the sole of the foot you will find there the palm and feet uh, soles of the feet would be the red and swollen followed by the desquamation of the skin peeling of the skin of the tip of the fingers and the toes so this is the unilateral cervical lymph node enlargement these are the features of kawasaki disease and this is the uh, polymorphous rash on the body and uh, usually it is a non crust and non vesicle polymorphous rash in uh, is a feature of kawasaki disease so high risk features why it is important to know about high risk features because the treatment is different So high risk features means uh, failed intravenous immunoglobulin this intravenous immunoglobulin is the uh, treatment immediate treatment of uh, kawasaki disease 
So intravenous immunoglobulin, which usually failed when you will give, that is a high risk feature. Less than one year is the high risk feature. Severe inflammation is the high risk feature. Hemophagocytic lympho, uh, lymphohistocytosis. What is this? This is also a high risk feature. So what is hemophagocytic lymphohistocytosis? It is a persistent fever, hepatosplenomegaly, cytopenia means two more than two cell lines would be uh, low like for example we have complete blood count three cell lines white blood cells hemoglobin and platelets two cell lines would be low hypertriglyceridemia means triglyceride would be uh, high fibrinogen will be low d dimer will be high and ferritin would be high so and falling of the esr so these are the uh, this is called uh, hemophagocytic lymphohistiocytosis. You might feel that child might have in a shock and evolving of the coronary aneurysm. So why they develop the coronary artery aneurysm? Because of jet of fellow uh, of the blood in the coronary arteries when the collagen would be uh, low in the ba babies who has affected the arteries, medium sized arteries then the vessel wall of the arteries wall would be thick and it would be the weak, weak that's why this when the blood flow will pass from those arteries that become bulge so what happened the aneurysm will be developed investigation is none is diagnostic as i mentioned there is no any particular investigation to diagnose but uh, we have to do the full blood count like uh, you will find in early di early disease neutrophilia thrombocytopenia uh, inflammatory markers would be high like ESR and CRP. Liver function test, uh, you will find the uh, bilirubin will be raised, ALT and low albumin. Raised bilirubin and ALT and uh, albumin will be low. Urine, definitely you will do the esterline pyuria, CSF lymphocytosis. You will find the lymphocytosis in CSF. ECG also in the advanced disease, you will find the ST depression, T wave inversion, sometimes heart block if there is a coronary artery aneurysm. Echocardiography is must, you have to do at the diagnosis. And then according to the cardiologist, they will follow the case if there is a, a coronary artery aneurysm. Throat swab to rule out the other uh, viral infections blood and urine cultures to rule out bacteria and uh, bacteria infections so these are the investigations you should do in a babies who is having a Kawasaki disease who is suffering from Kawasaki disease so what is the immediate treatment and treatment is very important to start early to prevent the coronary artery aneurysm so immediate treatment is aspirin 7.15 to 12.5 milligram per kg of oral 6 hourly and intravenous immunoglobulin as soon as possible, which is 2 gram per kg. As soon as possible, you have to start the intravenous immunoglobulin. So if you have started intravenous immunoglobulin, how will, how will you monitor that child? Because you have to monitor with the temperature, heart rate, blood pressure, and respiratory rate. Because these can be uh, unstable when you start the intravenous immunoglobulin. So every 5 minutes, you have to check initial uh, 50, for first 15 minutes. Then... Uh, first first hour you have to check every 15 minutes so you have to check monitor temperature heart rate blood pressure and respiratory rate look for signs of anaphylaxis definitely when you start a drug you should look for the signs of anaphylaxis if high risk features are present as i uh, mentioned earlier if there are high risk features then you have to uh, give the methyl prednisolone the dose would be 0 0.8 milligram per kg intravenous 12 hourly until C reactive protein will be normalized. How would you know that this child is responding with your treatment? Definitely symptoms would be uh, improved. Child will be improved by clinically and then you will do the inflammatory markers like CRP, ESR. It would be uh, decreasing. It means your treatment is effective. So this is the way you should know that uh, the treatment is effective. So high risk features, the treatment is methylprednisolone, otherwise aspirin and intravenous immunoglobulin. If you will give the IVIG, you should monitor the temperature, heart rate, blood pressure and respiratory rate. How to follow the case? Now you uh, have received the case of Kawasaki disease, you have treated, uh, you started treatment and child has improved. You will discharge when the fever settles down. 
temperature would be settled down clinically and inflammatory marker will be low so then you will be discharged but you have to do the eco cardio uh, eco at 10 to 14 days and 6 weeks to rule out coronary artery aneurysm and till that you have to advise excessive strenuous activity if there is a coronary artery aneurysm it can cause problem in those children so till that you rule out the coronary artery aneurysm at the six weeks you will advise to the parents that avoid excessive strenuous activity uh, of your child avoid all live vaccines as you know it's a uh, immunocompromised you have already started uh, immunoglobulin so live vaccine should be avoided uh, MMR should be avoided for, for for three months following IVIG therapy. Any child who is who are immunocompromised, we are not giving live vaccines. So IVIG it means those children has received. So MMR should be avoided. And six monthly ECG and echo by cardiologist and lifelong follow up if there is any reason. If a cardiologist has found there is a coronary artery any reason. The follow-up would be lifelong like the blood pressure, growth and uh, eco by the cardiology, uh, cardiology OPD, there should be follow-up lifelong. So another syndrome called pediatric inflammatory multisystem syndrome, it has some similar, sim sim uh, similar symptoms like the patient who is having Kawasaki disease. So that's why you should know about the symptoms which are pediatric inflammatory multisystem syndrome in which there will be the uh, persistent fever, inflammation which won't be respond with your treatment and in uh, the, we are saying multi-system it means the multi-organ or single organ or dysfunction. So this is the diagnosis of exclusion you usually you will find the children they may present in the shock very severely dehydrated because they have the organ involvement and uh, sometimes they have the positive uh, SARS-CoV-2, COVID-19 uh, sometimes they might have negative it is uh, secondary to uh, COVID-19 they call it pediatric, pediatric inflammatory multi-system syndrome this is a diagnosis of exclusion and it might have some same, some similar sim symptoms of the Kawasaki disease they call it PIMS pediatric inflammatory multi-system syndrome so this was about Kawasaki disease so Kawasaki disease you should know because you have to it reduces early treatment reduces the mortality of the from the coronary artery aneurysm so it that's why it's a vital to recognize and as you know there is no particular investigation there are no particular investigations thank you very much